SVG's Jason Dackman here with the latest episode of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I have the privilege of being joined here by Brian McCohen, president of Fingerworks. Brian, first of all, uh, you know, I hope that you and your family are safe. Where are you coming from right now talking to us? And uh, is everybody in your household hanging in there? Yeah, we're uh, doing pretty well. Uh, we're in, located in Vancouver in British and uh, the good news is uh, winter shut itself off about a week ago, so we're into some good spring weather, so that's making everybody feel a little happier, but uh, we're making do as best we can, and everybody's safe and healthy, so we're okay here. Good, that's what's important. So just briefly, let's start out with, for those that don't know, a little bit of history on Fingerworks and uh, the technology you guys provide to the broadcast industry. Sure. So we started back in 1998, uh, providing a live uh, telestration system uh, for your live uh, sports analysts. Uh, pretty much do all kinds of sports. We moved into esports about five years ago. So we've got you know three or four products that kind of cover all that live and uh, uh, technology that's required. You know, so most of our gear lives in uh, mobile or OB vans, depending on which side of the Atlantic you're on, and uh, and then we give the analyst the analyst booth to uh, analyze replays, live the live uh, show, that kind of thing. So yeah, we've been uh, around for a while, and uh, obviously with live sports ground to a halt, we're kind of uh, waiting for it to get going again. As we all are, and hopefully it's sooner than later. Um, you know, obviously NAB is not happening physically this year, but it doesn't mean that the uh, innovation cycle stops for you guys or or anyone else. So. Uh, you have a latest release on, on your guys' platform. Can you tell us a little bit about Fingerworks 6 and some of the cool new features that you're debuting as part of this release? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so Fingerworks 6, um, the big change is the way the user interface works. We made it much easier, uh, much more like uh, when you're using your, uh, your smartphone, uh, you know, a lot of swiping and dragging and dropping and that kind of thing. So less uh, 1980s, 90s, clunky, click, 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 that kind of thing. So much more user-friendly experience when you're using the software. Uh, we brought this forward in Fingerworks 5, but we really expanded now in, in Fingerworks 6 as a social media interface. So people are now, now able to, um, using um, uh, a cloud account, we're calling it, that you can curate social media assets push them to the Telestrator and they can be aired by another person on a second screen. Um, and just recently we've added a interface for Tagboard. So Tagboard uh, users can push uh, their assets straight into Fingerworks and air them through the SDI connections in Fingerworks. So that's one big change. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, the cloud is there. Besides the social media interface for the cloud uh, accounts we're going to be giving, we're going to be giving everybody is, uh, it also is a way for analysts to keep their tool sets and their rosters uh, updated in real time. So nobody's searching for their tool set because they got a different box at a different stadium. So it kind of right. keeps everybody in sync. And the big thing that we're going to, that we've got working um, now is uh, live field tracking. So you're able to place tools uh, on a football field, on a soccer field, baseball diamond, uh, underneath the players, and they are now virtually uh, using computer vision technology stuck to the field. So basically, the first and ten effect of the telestration uh, assets. So those are kind of the big things uh, that we've got uh, already ready to go in Fingerworks six, um, and um, just waited. We we're hoping for NAB, but now we're going to move forward without NAB. So we're reaching out to all our customers as we speak. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. When sports do resume, and again, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, everybody's going to have some fun new toys to play with uh, in your guys' system. But in the meantime, you know, how are you trying to support uh, your guys' customers, uh, the community during this difficult time, uh, you know, providing them with the solutions that they need to, to get through this and uh, hopefully get to the other side intact? Yeah, so as you know, there's a lot of uh, broadcasts now are kind of going down the esports avenue if you want to call it that where they're having uh, actual uh, athletes and, and competitors from various sports compete online so we've always had a version of our software that we designed around esports called review and besides the live aspect um, it also has the ability to ingest clips and give the play pause control to the analyst uh, so they can um, control the clip telestrate analyze and then move on to the next thing so 
we've redesigned the entire uh, review thing. We now call it uh, Fingerworks Presenter Mode. Uh, so, as I said, live throughput, but it also allows clips to be ingested uh, frame accurately. So now you can do basically uh, like a super slow mo effect, but now the analyst is controlling it from their touch screen um, and in complete control. So, uh, we've been cool. working with a lot of customers who are doing this kind of esports uh, effect and bring the social media act into it as well has really helped us. So we've got a couple of projects we're working on right now that are uh, really geared towards adding social media assets into these productions. Excellent. So staying busy, social media and esports obviously having their moment right now, and, uh, and hopefully we'll get back to traditional sports very soon. But uh, Brian, thanks so much for taking the time. We really appreciate yeah. it. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Yeah, you too, Jason. And thanks for doing this. This is a really good idea that Sports Video Group came up with here. Thanks. Uh, we appreciate it. And for more episodes of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and the SVG YouTube channel.